Welcome to GOMO, your new authoring tool. In this session, we're going to have an introductory tour of the key features of GOMO. GOMO itself is a cloud-based collaborative authoring environment, which means that you can collaborate with other members of your team wherever they might happen to be geographically. So here I'm going to log in to my GOMO portal. So I just put in my credentials, click login, and now GOMO will load up all of the projects that I have access to in my own GOMO portal. So here it's showing me this grid view of all the projects that I have access to. I can also choose to see them as a list by clicking on the list button up here. And within the projects here that I can choose to open up a particular project just by clicking on it. Now this shows me the structure of the project with a thumbnail view of the first screen for the project. So here it's showing me that I have a main menu topic and then associated with that I have a series of topics linked to it. And if I want to first of all preview the course to see just uh, what it looks like um, across devices I can just go up to the Actions list here and select Preview Project. Now what it now does is to take that project and its associated theme and then to display it on my browser here. So here we're looking at the desktop view of this. But I can see how this uh, is going to look on different devices. So if I go up to the top here I can select Tablet and it automatically adapts and adjusts its layout because GOMO is based on responsive layout that you don't have to specify the size of the screen when you first create the project that GOMO itself will just adapt to the actual size of the device or the desktop that it finds itself on. So for example that's Tablet, if I select Smartphone Again, it changes its layout, and we can actually have a look at the at the course itself. If I just click on here, here we see the layout on smartphone with a question being asked here. But I can go and see how that would look on desktop, and it's changed the layout here, so it's responded to the size, and that happens through the use of blocks and columns rather than exact pixel positioning of individual objects. So let's go back to the project structure here and go and have a look at our projects again. Some of the key things here is at the moment we're looking at the project view here but if I click on shared content then this will show me the all the folders that I have available for storing images and sounds and video files for a project but I can also then share it across all projects. So for example I can create a folder for commonly used things like company icons and standard imagery which would then be available to all team members. And so I can just choose one of these and here we can see the resources in there. And to upload these then you just select the Upload Files button there and just drag and drop your images, sounds and videos in there. We also have a shared content, the notion of variables. And we'll look at this in, in more depth in another session. But essentially variables give you a way to be able to store information and then to display them at different parts of the course. So for example, a name or a score. We also have themes. Now in GOMO you don't specify the specific colors and font sizes and positioning and so forth of, uh, of text and other objects. 
that's all taken care of by the themes, which is really uh, like a sort of super style sheet. And by applying those themes to a particular project or a sequence of projects, it will mean that you can get a consistent look and feel. So a theme can encapsulate your brand guidelines, which can then be used by all team members to, uh, to publish their particular courses so that they will look consistent. Themes can be duplicated and customised and uh, you can also choose to customise the theme for individual projects as well. If we come back to projects, uh, you can start a new project here just by clicking uh, create a new project and there's a project wizard that takes you through the different steps there. And we'll be covering that in more depth in another session. If you want to go in and have a look at the structure of a course and what, how many screens it consists of and the content of those screens, once again we can just click on the project so we can see the structure. Just click on the actual topic that you want to look at and now it loads up the GOMO editor and this will show me the sequence of the screens. So here we have the navigator panel showing me all the screens that I have in this topic and I can move between those screens just by clicking on it. And in the content area here that we have the content blocks. This is where we can um, set up the areas where we're going to drag and drop content and we can specify the number of columns and this is how GOMO gets its responsive layout. And within these blocks and columns we can just add in assets and if we click on the asset tab here you can see all the different things such as rich media, presentation types, more uh, complex interactions, question types and so on and this is just all based on just dragging and dropping elements into your content blocks and then just specifying the particular things for that uh, for that asset from the properties panel on the right hand side. At any point I can close and return to the project view so I can edit the course, I can preview the course and then when I'm ready to actually publish it I just select publish project and what that does is to take my content structure and applies the theme that I've chosen for the project and then it will actually then publish that out. If I go back to my list of projects, we can see that it's publishing it there. And that will then make it available for me to download from the GOMO cloud down to my local computer. And that will be a SCORM compliant uh, object, a zip file, ready for me to upload to my SCORM compliant LMS such as Moodle. Or I can unpack it and uh, just run it from, uh, from a web server. So that's a brief introduction to, to GOMO and please do check out the other sessions which go into more depth about all of these features.